Hello everyone, this is Tiffany from the Butler Area Public Library and I am bringing you another video from the Professional Resource Center. Today we are taking a look at an overview of the Primer app. We're using an iPad today and the first thing we're going to do is to locate the Primer app in the Apple App Store. You can see here that we have located it. We tap the button that says get and it's going to ask us for permission to install this application on our device. Once the app is fully installed on the device, we will be able to open it up. It's going to prompt us to connect to Primer using our Google account. If you don't have one, you're going to want to set one up. So I'm going to connect with my account, and it's going to give me some options as to how I would like to use Primer. I've selected Start My Own Business, and it's going to prompt us to scroll through a list of skills that are applicable to that topic, and this will help them determine which lessons we need to take. You can select or unselect any skill on this list simply by touching the checkbox on the right hand side. Or you can select all. Then you hit continue and it's going to generate a list of the possible lessons within Primer to learn the skills that we selected. So as you can see, we now get to start our very first lesson. The first lesson we have selected is laying the groundwork for our first cell. And you navigate through this lesson simply by touching the screen. You can either touch the forward and backward buttons at the bottom of the screen, or you can scroll through the screens to the left and the right. The app uses stories to help teach you the lessons in the different topic areas. It will give you a scenario, and then it's going to prompt you how to apply that lesson. Again, you navigate through this simply by touching your screen and answering the questions. So here we see the results of the questions that we have answered and the lesson that is the takeaway from this topical area. You continue on this way through the entire lesson. Once you've completed the lesson, it will redirect you back to this dashboard where you can then take additional lessons on different topic areas. It also shows you the progress you've made on lessons that you have started already. So you can see that we now have one lesson completed. At the bottom of the screen, you will see three different areas. The first is the home area, which we just saw. This is explore, which allows us to see different lessons that are available. Here we see one, start selling on social media. So if that looks interesting to us, we would simply touch it to open it, and we will now begin that lesson or we could change our mind and exit from this lesson to go back to that dashboard. We can also touch the three lines in the search bar at the top of the screen to take a look at all lessons that are available. 
you also see an area that says saved. So this is where we will have all the lessons that we have either completed or that we have in progress. So here we see that completed first lesson that we walked through. If we touch the in progress, we will see that social media lesson that we started but changed our mind about. We also have an area for pinned posts, and I'm going to show you what those are in just a moment. So now we're gonna return home and we're going to see, do we want to pick a different lesson? And again, you just touch those three lines in the search bar at the top of the screen, and it's gonna direct you to a new menu where we can see what lessons are available to us. Sticking with the theme of social media, I'm now going to look at all the different social media lessons that there are. So you can see that there's different topics even within social media. One of them is that selling on social media that we already started. So we could pick that back up or we could change our mind again. Instead, we're going to select photograph your products like a professional. So once again, you just touch the screen to navigate through this lesson. Some of the lessons are more interactive than just answering questions. So for this lesson, we're going to walk through the information about the topic, and then we have an activity that we will complete. So for this activity, we want to use the cell phone on the screen to try to frame a picture that would be good to use on social media. And we simply use our finger to navigate between the two picture options and center the one that we want to choose within that cell phone frame. Do we wanna choose this one? Or do we wanna swipe over and choose this one? Once we've selected, we hit the I choose this one button and we'll get the results of the activity. We have an option for more information here at the bottom and it's going to give us more detailed information. Here's where those pinned posts come into play. In the bottom right hand corner, you will see a little thumbtack and you can touch that to activate that. And that then becomes a pinned post. So if we go back, to that saved area of our main screen. Our pinned card from that lesson now shows up in our pinned area. Additionally, the photography and the selling on social media lessons now show as in progress. I hope this overview has been helpful for you. If you need additional information, please feel free to contact us at the library.